Welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. Welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. I'm your host, Sam Buxton. We're here with head coach Bobby Champagne. Coach Champagne, a great win against Shorter University. Some great players, the likes of Justin Jacks and Brandon Pullman. We go into the first half down by 10, but a phenomenal performance in the second half. Outscore them by 13 and clinch the three-point win. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a tough game there. Uh, kind of got off to that same rocky start in that first half and, and we're down 10 and really struggling on the offensive end. Um, going to the locker room and, and kind of regroup a little bit. Shorter had beaten us worse than any, any team in the league or any team on our schedule uh, when we played them right before Christmas. So uh, we knew how explosive they were on the offensive end. So it was important for us to come out in the second half and play, play well, and we did. We got to the free throw line, we were real aggressive, and uh, started executing our offense, but more importantly, get some stops where we held them uh, to a low percentage uh, from, from the field. So that was a, a huge win for us to get off the three game home losing uh, skid. Absolutely. Rebounding, you're right. Re rebounding continues to be our Achilles heel, but we did have a great bench performance. You had Vucetza and Devin McNeil coming off the bench, outscoring their bench. Rebounding from Yeri Vucetza, 12 points, and nine, 12 rebounds and nine points in his 20 minutes of play. You need to be happy with that. Yeah, very happy with uh, how he rebounded the ball. Calvin Dade rebounded the ball well. Uh, like you said, Devin McNeil came off the bench and gave us a good spark. So uh, we, we need that. We need, we need all 10 12 guys who are dressed out to uh, give us give us uh, some valuable minutes and be productive. So it was good to get that home win. And once again, we had a great home crowd. Yeah, the GSC continues to bring us exciting basketball, especially at Flowers Hall on the campus of UNA. We'll be right back after this break. 2014 starts our 50th year at Ray Miller Buick GMC, the Shoals only locally owned and operated GM dealership. For only $1.99 per month, you can drive the 2014 Buick Encore, the 2014 GMC Terrain, the 2014 Buick LaCrosse is $249 a month, the Acadia is $299 a month. You get a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with Buick and a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty with GMC. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. 50 years of satisfied customers. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. Let's take a look at these first half highlights. And the opening tip is controlled by Shorter. It'll be Shorter basketball to start the game as the Hawks have the ball working to our left. Ball in the hands of Travis Jones. Swings it over left side. Diedrich Ware, Ware, guarded by Darrington. Or to run the screen, it's gonna pull up from 18 feet. Ball is tipped. Rebound is controlled by Nathan Spear of UNA. And quickly up the floor, the Lions go. And Spear finds Calvin Dade on the breakaway. But he gets his own rebound, kicks it back out to the free throw line to Derek Martin. And Martin with the 15 footer gets it to go and gives Shorter the first lead of the game, four to two, as we're two minutes into this one. Rashawn on the left wing for UNA. Now he decides to dribble. Gets into the lane, dishes off to Dade. Dade into the lane, right-handed hook shot put up over. And Dade puts it up and in and ties the ball game at four. And Ware goes coast to coast in the lane. Puts up the layup, no good. But there for the follow-up slam is Derek Martin. And Martin extends the shorter lead to 10 points. It's now 14 to four after the two-handed putback slam from Derek Martin. Nathan Spear, left wing, three-pointer. And Nathan Spear answers for UNA. Now, back to the left wing, Diedrich Ware. Thought about a three-pointer, and he's going to take it from the left wing. No good. Rebound taken by Marquell Darrington in the line with three on two numbers. Marquell is going to take a pull-up three-pointer from the top of the key. And Marquell Darrington with a three-pointer from the top of the key. And Marquell Darrington will inbound it for UNA. Slow things down, move the ball, execute our offense. Rashawn driving down the baseline, finger roll, no good. Yeti Machetza there for the offensive rebound and put back. And Yeti, Travis Jones. And the free throw on the way, too strong. And the rebound controlled by Calvin Dade. Calvin hands it off to Nathan. And UNA will work.
Mark it up the floor, setting up their half court offense. Calvin swings over to Marquell inside to Rashawn. Rashawn puts it on the floor. Great contact and goes up strong off the glass and gets the two point basket for UNA. And the three pointer from Curtis Woods is good. And it's back to a 13 point game 27 14. We're near seven and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Yeti Pachetza swings over to Nathan Spear on the right wing. Shorter in a 2 3 matchup zone. Inside to Yeti, back outside to Nathan. Ball nearly thrown away. Nathan saves it in the right corner. Gets it back to Calvin Dade. Dade swings it over. Nathan Spear, three pointer, right corner. And nothing but net for the junior out of Adelaide, Australia. Where to inbound it for shorter. Trying to find a cutting Pullman instead. Ball stolen by Rashawn Claiborne. Claiborne, one on three, decides to pull it up. Kicks it out to West Long. Long over to Nathan. Over to Marquell. Left corner, three pointer on the way. And Marquell Darrington knocks down the three pointer. On the assist from Nathan Spear. Travis Jones to inbound it for shorter. Pass comes right in front of us in midcourt. Jordan Jacks near side. Cross court pass over to Travis Jones. UNA in this 2 3 matchup zone from the top. Ball knocked away by Marquell. Marquell knocks it away. Runs in for the right hand to layup. Puts it up and in. And Marquell Darrington with back to back baskets. Puts it to five points. Oh, but the rebound controlled by Martin. And Martin swings it over to Curtis Woods. Three pointer from the left corner is good. And shorter back on top by 11. Rashawn inside to Calvin. Calvin spins. Left handed layup put up. And Calvin Dade with the finger roll gets it to go. Put up from the left corner by Steve Johnson, and Johnson gets it to go. Now Rashawn Claiborne from the right wing trying to answer, and Rashawn knocks down the three-pointer with one and a half seconds remaining before the half, and that's going to do it for the first half. We're going to go to halftime with UNA trailing by 10, shorter 45, UNA 35. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family owned businesses. They in turn support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Seven locations in Florence Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway and Chisholm Road, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue, Muscle Shoals, and Highway 72 in Killen. Lil Steve's believe in America. Since we opened our doors in 1906, through the good times and the rough times, we've been there for you. We've helped you realize your dreams, build your business, add hope to the future, making the impossible possible. I'm Cecil Batchelor, Chairman of the Board of CBNS Bank. We are proud that our story is rich in tradition. Let CBNS Bank be part of your story. A great combination, Frostbite and Montague's. Florence's first self-serve yogurt shop has over 50 rotating flavors and over 100 rotating toppings. Customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by. Just weigh and pay. All sandwiches at Montague's are under $5. The best Philly cheesesteak and Reuben in town. Delicious sides and they cater. Get a UNA student discount and they accept the main card. Like Frostbite on Facebook. Frostbite and Montague's, 1611 North Pine Street, Florence. Opening this spring, Frostbite on the UNA campus. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. We go into the first half down by 10, 45 to 35. Really good performance by Shorty University. Let's take a look and see what happened in the second half of basketball. And Jordan Jacks for the first basket of the second half. Just over a minute into action here. Nathan Spear dribbles to his right, finds Calvin Dade on the baseline. Dade up and under for the reverse lay-in. And Calvin Dade puts it in off the glass. Shorter to inbound it underneath their own goal. Inbounds pass comes to Ware. Ware. Right handed dribble. Gives it off to Johnson, who gives it back to Ware on the left wing. Ware, top of the key over to Jones. Back to the left wing to Ware. Thought about a three pointer. Instead, he gets it inside. And the ball ends up in the hands of Jackson. Jax puts up the right handed hook shot. No good. Yeti Vachetza there for the rebound. And Yeti gives it off to Markwell. Markwell left handed dribble to Rashawn. Rashawn, spin move in the lane. Puts up a left handed shot. And he gets it to go. And Rashawn Claiborne. Will be fouled. Markwell brings it across midcourt for UNA. Gives it over on the right wing to Nathan. Nathan into Calvin. Jump shot from the right elbow. And Calvin Dade, the junior out of Loxley, 
Knocks it down for his 13th points of the game. Long on the outlet pass and coming down for the lay in on the assist is Travis Jones as Jones goes up with a left hand, lays it up and lays it in. And we're back to a seven point game as we near the 15 minute mark here in the second half. Nathan, three pointer, left corner on the way. And Nathan Spear knocks it down and makes it a four point game. Gets it down to Pullman on the right corner. Over to Ware. Ware trapped in the corner. Gives it back to Pullman on the right wing. Back up top, Travis Jones. Jones in the lane. Kicks it out to Jax. Jax puts it up with a floater. No good. Rebound control by West Long. And UNA down by four with the basketball. Working to our left as Devin McNeil brings it up the court for UNA. Goes to the far sideline. McNeil, left-handed dribble into the lane, lays it up with the right hand, and McNeil pulls UNA within two points with 14-12 remaining here in the game. Travis Jones working against Nathan Spear, brings it up the near sideline, working to our right. Jones to the right wing, works around the screen from Pullman. Pullman, right wing, thought about three-pointer, say drives the baseline, gives it off to Woods. Woods, right-handed floater up, no good. Rebound being fought for, and Yeti Vachetza comes away with it. And he gives it off to Markwell Darrington, who brings up the middle of the court. Markwell dribbles out to the left wing. Now right-handed dribble around the screen from Yeti. Over to Rashawn, driving the baseline, puts up a shot. Shot, no good, but there for the putback is Yeti Vachetza. And Yeti around Calvin Dade. And the basket's good. And it's shorter, now back on top by nine, 62 to 53. Markwell brings it up for UNA. Gives it off to Yeti, top of the key, three-pointer on the way from Yeti, and Yeti Vincenzo with a three-pointer, knocks it down. And it's back to a six-point game, 62-56. And there's a ball stolen away, Markwell Darrington lays it in, and the ball is blocked. But there for the rebound is Calvin Day. Day puts it up, and Day puts it in, and he gets fouled. And Calvin Day with a second point, second chance point. And Jones lays it up and in. Back to a five-point lead for Shorter. Devin McNeil driving down the lane. Puts it in with the right land. And it's back to three points, 64 to 61, after Devin McNeil splits the defense. Oh, after it looked like it was going to hop out. He said he gets it to go. It's back to an eight-point game, 69-61. UNA with a basketball working to our left. Markwell Darrington, right wing. First round, just getting a screen from Yeti. Between the legs dribble. Crossover now over to McNeil, left wing. McNeil. That's shorter. Now dropping back into a man-to-man -man defense. McNeil finds Yeti on the pick and roll. Yeti lays it up and Yeti puts it in. And it's back to a six-point game after the tough shot, the physical shot by Yeti Vachetza. Puts it up with a left hand and Jordan Jacks puts it up and in on the putback. And makes it a six-point ball game, 75-69. 5.50 remaining here in the contest. McNeil works around the screen from Yeti. Gives it off to Rashawn, top of the key. Three-pointer on the way from Rashawn. And Rashawn Claiborne with a three-pointer, his second of the game. And Jax knocks them both down, the retro freshman. Goes two of two on that trip. He extends it out to a five-point lead for Shorter. UNA crossing midcourt, Devin McNeil with the basketball for the Lions, working on the far sideline. Gives it off right wing to Markwell Darrington. Back up to Devin. Over to Nathan. Left corner to Rashawn. Rashawn dribbles in. Picks up his dribble. Gives it to Calvin. Calvin into the lane. Skying to the rim with a right-handed layup. Calvin Dade plays it up and in. UNA with the basketball. Chance to cut it to a one-point game or potentially tie it here on this possession. McNeil works it near sideline. Across midcourt. Left-handed dribble from the junior. Dribbles to the left wing, gives it off up top to Rashawn. Pull up, 18-footer on the way. Rashawn Claiborne with the pull-up jumper. Pulls UNA with a one, 77-76. And UNA picking up full court. Where? Goes off to Jacks in the lane. Right-handed layup is put up. And the right-handed layup is put up and in as Jacks lays it in for two for Shorter. Nathan Spear, three-pointer right wing. Rattles out. Ball loose for Markwell Darrington with the rebound. Goes in for the layup. And Markwell with the English off the backboard. Gets it to go off the glass. Inbounding it will be Rashawn Claiborne. Claiborne gets it in the backcourt to Markwell. And Markwell will chase it down at the other end underneath the opposite goal. And will bring it up for UNA. Tie ball game works around the screen from Calvin. 
Dribbles out. And now gets it inside to Calvin. Back out to West. Three pointer, right wing. And West Long gives you an A the lead with a three pointer as the senior knocks it down from outside. UNA up by three, 86 to 83. And all you got to do is get the ball inbounds and touch it. If you're UNA. And there it is, the inbounds pass, and UNA will come back from down 14 with a minute remaining. As the crowd of Flower Shaw goes crazy as UNA will win this one, 86 to 83 over the Hawks of Shorter University. UNA will improve to 11 and 8 on the season and 5 and 6 in conference play. When we return, we'll hear from the victorious head coach. You're listening to UNA Basketball on the UNA Lions Sports Network. Coach's role is huge. What we do is point guys in the right direction and try to prepare them for what's coming next. If you develop a player off the court, it's going to help him for his future. Compete in the classroom as much as you compete on the basketball court. We all as coaches have to be aware that we're involved not just with our team, but in our community. And I think it all starts with the head coach in terms of how they carry themselves and how we lead. Together, we can beat cancer. Text coach to 20222 to donate $5. Since we opened our doors in 1906, through the good times and the rough times, we've been there for you. We've helped you realize your dreams, build your business, add hope to the future, making the impossible possible. I'm Cecil Batchelor, Chairman of the Board of CBNS Bank. We are proud that our story is rich in tradition. Let CBNS Bank be part of your story. He is the most interesting man in the Shoals. He is an artist, a writer, a philosopher, a historian, musician, astronomer, wine connoisseur, environmentalist, peace prize recipient. When he speaks, people hang on each and every word, especially the verbs. His personality is so magnetic that he cannot carry credit cards. It is said that once he taught a German shepherd how to bark in Spanish and taught a horse to read his email. Someone recently asked him what he did for fun, and here is what he said. I don't eat out every day, but when I do, I eat at City Hardware because to me, it's the most interesting restaurant in the Shoals. starts our 50th year at Ray Miller Buick GMC, the Shoals only locally owned and operated GM dealership. For only $1.99 per month, you can drive the 2014 Buick Encore, the 2014 GMC Terrain, the 2014 Buick LaCrosse is $249 a month, the Acadia is $299 a month. You get a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with Buick and a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty with GMC. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. 50 years of satisfied customers. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. We're in the Lions Lair, and today we're joined by Nathan Spear. Nathan's a junior from Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the show, Nathan. Thanks for having me. Nathan, uh, you've come a long way to come to UNA. How's, how's your experience been so far? It's been different. I didn't really know what to expect when I first came over, so it's, I've really enjoyed the time. So it's been good. What, uh, what, what are you majoring in, Nathan? I'm in health promotion right now. I was fitness management, but I actually changed it last year. Why'd you change your major? Uh, I have a personal training qualification, so I thought if I do health promotion, I'll be able to work the two together. So you, you see where your degree will be able to help you when you, when you finish it up, and you're planning on going back to Australia, correct? Uh, if I don't continue to play somewhere else after then, yeah, I'll probably go work back home. What's, the, what's been your favorite class or your favorite professor uh, that you've had in your major? Well, that's a tough one. Uh, I just started getting into my major classes. I actually like nutrition and health performance because 
I was able to take it from the classroom and put it onto the court. Well, that's good. Um, over the last few years, your your role has changed a little bit. Your leadership uh, role has changed a little bit. What what do you what do you see um, your role now? I think I've been here three years, so I think I sh I deserve to lead the team. Uh, it's been at the start I was a little nervous because obviously I hadn't been to America before, but as I get more comfortable, I've been able to try and help the team leading. Hey, your your uh, your grandmother and your parents have come over a couple times, but uh, most of the time they're watching through Lion Vision. Uh, do you do you feel their support from from down under? I always do. I always know they're watching because they'll send me a Viber message or something before the game. So it's good to to know that they're watching the games. And you probably got family and friends that that tune in all the time. Yeah, they're always looking for a link on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. So it's good to know that I got support back home. What's been your most exciting moment uh, out on the basketball court since you've been here? It'd have to be the Valdosta game when I hit the game winner. That was a pretty big game, and uh, it was in overtime, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, who's been Who's been your favorite teammate or roommate over the last three years? It's a tough one. I get along with Markwell really well, so I'd have to say Markwell. Yeah. We kind of change up roommates when we go on road trips and that, and so guys can get, uh, get to know each other a little bit better. Um, has it been any kind of a culture shock coming from Australia here to Florence, Alabama? I think it was my first year, but I've been able to adapt. I've had a, a few different roommates, so that's helped me adapt quickly as well. What, uh, what's one thing you're looking forward to uh, for this season? I think we should do pretty well in the GSC tournament. Uh, I haven't actually got a win in the GSC tournament, so I'm hoping that this is the year. What, uh, what do you think is, is something that this team needs to do in order to achieve that goal? I think we need to be more consistent, especially uh, on the road. We haven't actually got a road win as of yet, so I think if we play as well as we do at home away, then I think we'll be able to get some wins. Well, that's a good idea there, Nathan. I hope we can uh, become more consistent. We appreciate having you on today's show, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Since we opened our doors in 1906, through the good times and the rough times, we've been there for you. We've helped you realize your dreams, build your business, add hope to the future, making the impossible possible. I'm Cecil Batchelor, Chairman of the Board of CBNS Bank. We are proud that our story is rich in tradition. Let CBNS Bank be part of your story. Rick and Tony Valentino here, urging you to come to Flowers Hall this year and support Bobby Champagne and the UNA Lions basketball team in their quest for a Division II National Championship. Catch all the action and the excitement. Hey, UNA basketball, that's what I'm talking about. Whether it's purple and gold or any other color, Simpsons Body Shop now has three locations to help you get that damaged car repaired, painted, and back on the road. They're located at Cox Boulevard in Sheffield and Highway 72 in Killen and Broadway Street in Florence. Choose one and rest assured that you've chosen the right professionals for the job. Three generations, three brothers, three locations since 1981. Simpsons is there for you 24 hours a day. For towing and repair, Simpsons gets it right the first time. The reputation of Simpsons Collision and Repair speaks for itself. Those Simpson boys say go. Lions. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sammy. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. This week's player of the game is Calvin Day. 24 points and 7 rebounds, Coach Champagne. Yeah, Calvin's been a good addition to the program coming from Faulkner State and uh, really giving us a, a valuable inside post presence. Uh, rebounded the ball well against Shorter. 
most importantly, he was 10 for 13 from the free throw line, and, and that, that's huge when you can get the ball inside to a big guy. He can not only score it, but if he's fouled, he can go to the free throw line and make it. He had been struggling a little bit from the free throw line, so it's big, big for us to get those uh, free throws out of him. Yes, sir, he gives us 31 minutes of play, two steals, two assists, two blocks, and zero turnovers. A great performance by Calvin, Get Calvin Dade. Let's take a look at his highlights. Calvin Dade is this week's Weikert Realty Player of the Game. Calvin Dade scored a game-high 24 points, including 15 in the second half as the University of North Alabama men's basketball team broke a two-game slide by rallying for an 86-83 home win over Shorter. The junior, playing in his first season, matched his career-high 24 points to help the Lions improve to 11-8 on the season and 5-5 in GSC play. The Loxley, Alabama native also finished the game with seven rebounds, two assists, two steals, and two block shots. Dade made seven of 10 shots from the field and was 10 for 13 from the free throw line playing 31 minutes. Dade has started six games during Gulf South Conference play. He is averaging 12 points and five rebounds per game in league play. He is shooting 57% from the field versus conference opponents. On the season, he leads the Lions in field goal percentage and block shots. He is third on the team in rebounds. Calvin Dade is your Weikert Realty player of the game Player of the Game brought to you by agents Robin Cousins and Anna Champagne of Weikert Realty. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. Coach Champagne again, another great performance by Carbon Dade. Seems to be the determining factor. I say this because when he has a good game, we come out with the W. Yeah, it's always big when you've got an inside post presence, and uh, that's uh, that's been been the case this year. Whenever Calvin or Yeti or or Bruce Adams has has a dominant post game, it opens things up for the guards, and that definitely was the case against Shorter, where uh, we needed someone inside to uh, to take over in there. Uh, our defense was really good in that game as well. Yeah, I agree. Our full court pressure, three quarter pressures, forced a lot of turnovers. They had 15 turnovers to our nine. You need to be happy with that defensive performance. Yeah, that, that's kind of been a key for us as well is where our defense has uh, caused some problems for the other teams. And, and it's really gotten us going, um, giving us some easy baskets where we've turned turnovers into points for us. So uh, it's going to be key down the stretch uh, with the upcoming games. And uh, so we're, we're really going to try and turn up the defensive pressure and, and continue to improve on our rebounding. Absolutely. Speaking of our upcoming games, our next game is against West Georgia. What are you and your team doing to prepare for this game? Well, you know, it's a little glitch in the schedule. West Georgia game got canceled because of uh, weather. But uh, the first time we played them, uh, they beat us at their place by two. Their uh, guard hit a, two free throws with about 10 seconds to go in the game. So big game for us. We're a half game ahead of them right now and uh, really trying to maintain pace with the rest of the league. So Monday night's going to be huge for our fans to get out there. Yeah, you'd like to see the light, the the likes of Carvin Dade come and bring his game again. It's really important. It really opens up the play, like you said, when we do get a touch in the post. Yeah, they, they've got a very good post player in Stephen Thompson who just got healthy, and so Calvin's really going to have to play well for us. If you're looking forward to seeing some great UNA basketball, don't forget, tomorrow we're playing against West Georgia. For tickets, you can reach us at 76LION. You've been watching Inside UNA Basketball. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Inside UNA Basketball. Please join us again next Sunday at 1130.